The year is 1990. The first episode of The Simpsons is aired, and demolition begins on the Berwyn Wall. And also in 1990, Windows releases its, its third version of Windows. Windows 3.0. Windows 3.0 was a milestone in the development of the Microsoft operating system. It looked and looked and felt a lot like Windows 2, but had a lot of major changes to it. Such as you could now have your own custom background and resizable font resizable fonts. Now this video I'm playing right here is from the Computer Chronicles. It's a very good series from the it started off in the late in the early eighties and ended in the in the, in the early two thousands. A very, very good, very in depth show. We need stuff like this more on TV these days, to be honest. But if you want to check it out, I will post the link to the video and the channel in the description. Now, sadly, not all the videos are on this channel. Some of them are on other people's channels as well. Um, like I said, it is a very old show, so some of the episodes may have gotten lost in the archival progress process. Um, but just check it out, you know, if you guys want to see it. So anyway, I'm not really gonna. Um, go in depth about, I mean, Windows 3, pretty much the same thing as Windows 2. It had a lot of changes, a lot of changes, graphically, you know, and all that stuff. Um, but, like, like the early predecessors, you still needed DOS to run Windows 3. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this fantastic video. Okay, so let's get started with installing... Windows 3.0. Now the reason why I decided to do the uh, installation for Windows 3 is it looks a lot different from Windows um, Windows 2 and with 1. So it's kind of got that basic blue screen you've probably seen when, when first installing games such uh, win, uh, pro Windows operations such as Windows 2000 even, X, even as far ahead as XP. So let's go ahead and install Windows. So let's see. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Now, I'm going to try, this is the floppy disk version. There is, in fact, a, I found a uh, CD-ROM version, but of course, I don't have any drivers to run CD-ROM drives on MS-DOS, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to install it, um, from scratch, without DOS, on, um, on a separate virtual machine. So hopefully I'll make a separate for that. If not, then well, oh, all right, that matches the best I think. But we're done install. Let's see. Oh, uh, uh, see, back in the day, networks was kind of well, <laughs> a little bit different. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with a Microsoft network. Why not? Um, cause I want to try to find a way to hook up this machine to my other machine that I'll install later on. So anyway, let's get back, let's get ready to do this. Yes. Alright, we need to install disk 2. Disk 2, guys, here we go. Disk 2. Oh, there we go, I gotta, hang on. Gotta pause it. There we go. All right, here we go. All righty. Uh, network software has not been installed. Network options will not be enabled. All right. Okay. Don't have a printer. Read online. What's online mean? Online documents. Uh, nope. Set up application already on hard disk. Uh, sh only have. Oh. Still got that beeping noise. I think I might need to install Sound Blaster. I think it should come equipped with it. All right, so yep, yep. Okay, gotta reach. All right, disk four, right? Disk four. Yeah, disk four. I actually used to have Windows 3.1 on a set. I think it was seven floppies. Um, I got my pup. I actually got a copy of Windows 3.1 on CD-ROM, which was actually kind of rare for the time. I mean, I never seen a copy of Windows 3.1 for the CD, so it's kind of okay. 
Hi. Oh, what's that? No, stay farm. Speaking of, uh, speaking of my car, um, so I was driving home today. You know, I was driving home, and I will, my muffler came off my car. Legit, like it just started dragging on the ground. Probably due to the um, recent repairs I had gotten on my. Uh, yes, please make the modifications for me. I don't want to do it myself. Thank you. Sure. Cool. Okay. Uh. And that's it. That's Windows. Now, um. I don't know. Is there any any sound to this? Um. Let's let's see. So I guess that's it. All right. That was pretty quick. I'm actually gonna disconnect the floppy here. Um, so let's see, let's see here, control panel, uh, sound, okay, never mind, it's just a warning beep, I forgot, there is no real sound in, um, uh, I think there is sound in the multimedia edition, so I'm gonna just, this mouse acceleration is really fast, I'm gonna slow that down, alright, you can swap left and mouse, you know, I don't think you can do this in the modern PC, I don't think you can. Swap the uh, mouse buttons. It's kind of cool. Alright, so I'm going to just slow that down. That is way too fast for me. Got fonts here. Look at all these. Look at all these fonts. Whoa! Look at all these. We got. Oh. Not a lot of fonts. Never mind. Okay. Color. I like color. I do believe you can add a desktop background. Let's see what we got for backgrounds here. I'm going to do. Ooh, chess. What? what do you mean you can't use a bitmap? How dare you? You know you want it. Alright, I want I want um pyramid, I want the tile. Yeah got the No wait, that's that's stupid. I want I want that. I want I want I want that one. What do you mean you can't use it to this up? Come on. Let's try boxes. There you go. Oh, check out that 16 bit graphics. Alright, so what else we got? We got ports here. Cool. Uh, date and time. Cool. Keyboard. Cool. Alright, so um, this, this is pretty much. You could also. Oh, that's. How do I get out of here? Oh, I gotta type in exit. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Oh. It's just my Amazon thing. Anyway. So yeah, the DOS prompt does not open up in a window like a command prompt does. We got your file manager. I do not like the file manager for Windows 3. It is very... I mean... Uh, it's very hard to... Co you can't, like... Let's see. I, I, can, I guess I can drag things, but... It's very hard to drag things around here. Um, I just don't really like the file system for this. Now, my, uh, grandfather had a, uh, 386DX with Windows 3.1. I actually used it. Wasn't that bad, actually. Wasn't that pretty, pretty fast? <laughs> pretty, f I mean, granted, it is running Windows 3.1. Now, if I do this, it will close out of Windows, I believe. Yes. All right. So let's see. We got. Ooh, we got some games. Oh, solitaire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. We got. Oh, we got reversey back. We got reversey. Oh. How, how do you play? Is this supposed to play with like two players? Like, uh, I mean, how how do you play reversey? I never. How much did you ask for? Five hundred, a thousand. No, it's only ninety nine dollars. Ninety nine dollars, except in Nebraska. Oh God, Steve Bomber. All right, so pretty much. Let's see, what we got. Oh, we got basically all the same programs you had from the last game. Recorder, I believe it's for macro, which is just like um, uh, keyboard shortcuts. We got your, yes. Fuck. All right. Close. 
get the get out get out of here get, get out of here I can't get out of this none can I type in this Where did, oh I can't type in this what the heck why can't you type in the terminal anyway oh paintbrush <gasps> this is my destiny this time I'm going to make a masterpiece I gotta add some music by the way all right actually I like them I was just better gonna oh whoa whoa what's this oh god oh Jesus uh, undo. How do you get out of here? Um, I think card file is like for contacts, I guess. Yeah, so like if you want to add something to the desktop, so let's see. Well, if I do this, if I do this, see, got program manager. Now, there is actually a um add-on for Windows 3.1 I believe that adds the Windows 95 type of um uh uh GUI or graphic user interface to uh I think it's for NT 3.5 I believe which I might do a little showcase later basically it looks like Windows 95 that's that's pretty much it it's the same you still have the same what's it for 3.1 Oh man, it's been such a long time now, actually. Um, but the only problem is like they still have because like NT 3.5 is basically a highly improved version of Windows 3.1, except uh, you can you cannot close out of this. So if I do, you know, end my session. Now the thing about my um, my published computer, when you turn the on button. The button stayed pressed in. So the the deal, the deal was once you were done on Windows, you would close out of Windows like yeah, I do now, like this. And it would go back to DOS. Now I know it's kinda of cut off, but that's okay. And what you would do then is just press the button because the thing is DOS is so simplistic, it you can turn it off with the power button. You're not gonna do any internal damage by force booting it. Like on a modern computer. If you try to do that today, you could have some significant damage depending on what it is, you know. I mean, that's why when I was a kid, my mom kept telling me, don't turn off the computer with the button. You have to go into the start menu and turn it off. And I always pressed the button when I was on the computer back in, back in the day. So anyway, let's go. Um, I'm actually going to change the um, auto exec. So directory slash w, uh, edit, auto exec. Bad. Nope. Not it. Uh, I need to actually move this around here. Hang on. Just gonna move this around here. Whoop. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh. Oh wait. I'm in Windows. Never mind. I gotta go back. All right. Great resize. W. Directory slash directory DOS, I think. Yeah, oh, oh, geez, that's, that's too much. Nope. GD DOS. Directory slash W. Um, edit auto exec dot bat. Alright, I guess I gotta find it myself. Okay, cool, cool. I will find it myself. Um, I'm actually going to restart this, so I'm going to send control delete to this machine and hope it actually goes into Windows. It does not. Alright. Let's see, directory. There we go. Uh, yeah, I want to do auto exec dot bat. Edit. Actually, no, I'm going to just do dos shell and just go straight into that. Oh, that's right. Dos shell isn't on this version. Um, edits. Auto exec dot bat. There we go. All right. So um, I need to uh, go here. Um, so it'd be uh, CD 
windows. Win. Let's hope that works. Save. Exit. Right, let's try audit. Let's try to send the control delete. There we go. It starts writing the windows. And, uh, okay. Alright, there we go. Starts writing the windows. Gets right in there. And I gotta move this a little around a bit here. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, blam. Okay, there we go. Okay, so like I said, not much, not much to see because of the fact that, um, uh, well, <laughs> Uh, there's not that much to see. I don't have any real programs installed on, um, I can only go to BGA, so I'm only going to have, like, I think 16 colors. It looks kind of, it's usually the default color, so it looks pretty, you know, ugly, I know. But it's, it's what I got. It's what, the only thing I can deal with right now, guys, you know? Just, whatever. So let's change some of the 386, oh. Come on. Ooh. That's pretty 386 enhanced, guys. It's pretty, pretty intense. Pretty intense, guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to actually move this. I can't see the uh, screen. There we go. Move it now. There we go. I'm actually going to minimize this. So, yeah, I can have on a desktop just dragging around, whatever drag it whatever pretty much I could drag it on Windows I can drag it wherever I want man it it does not give a crap where I put it <laughs> unlike modern Windows we have to drag it on a desktop in Windows and stuff I mean it does not give a crap so I got main menu I can drag this you want I guess I can't drag that with me. but I cannot do right click I'm gonna do tile. Range what's this? Cascade. Uh help. Uh glossary. Oh god. Oh man. That's a lot of words. I remember I, I actually read the manual for uh oh Progman dot help. Help us Progman, here are only help. Uh, okay, I'm no. All right, let's try. Let's try some solid. I never, I never was good at solitaire, but let's try. Okay, let's see. I can do this. I can do this here. What? Is that supposed? You're supposed to put the. What the? F Come on. So fuck you then. Okay. I am a man. Okay, I'm done. I haven't played in, like forever, so. Where'd it go? Anyway, that's pretty much it for Windows 3.0. I will be covering Windows 3.1 and of course Windows 3.11 for uh, for work groups. I will try to install Windows Multimedia Edition and if I do, I will be showing you a special little demonstration for that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, I really wish I could go to Buffalo Wild Wings tonight, but of course I can't because I guess my muffler is broken. I had to strap it to the bed of the truck, well, from underneath, so it wouldn't drag on the ground. I just got repaired two weeks ago. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go look up some repairs for my truck, so I hope your week is better off than mine. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good weekend, or have a good rest of the week. Thank you for watching. Good night.